it's Rachel. Today I am doing a questions and answers video. So I'm going to do this in two parts. Um, no particular order of the questions. I've just kind of divided all the questions in half and we will see how it goes. So um, yeah, so I asked in the past couple months if people had some questions for me, whether it's personal or crafty. I'm here to answer them all just for fun. Um, just a fun way to end off my spring blitz. So these are my last two days of that. And um, yeah, so let's start off with Alice. Alice is a very committed um, subscriber. She is very encouraging and comments on a lot of videos. So hi, Alice. Um, we have really good um, quick chats and stuff on Insta on uh, YouTube. And yeah, she's super nice. And uh, so she has asked me a few questions. And my cat's here to say hi. Come here. I put a little bow tie on her so that if she did appear in the video, she would look very nice and dressed up. I don't know if you can see it, but okay, you can go this way. All right. So uh, anyway, so Alice asked uh, where I live. So I live in Canada, um, in Ontario. I live so to give you some like landmarks, I live about 20 minutes away from Niagara Falls and about an hour away from Toronto. So I live in between the two, two cities. So, so if that gives you an idea. Um, uh, so the, other, the next question was, how long have you been scrapbooking for? I'm just kind of summarizing all the questions. Um, so... When I was a kid, my mom did a lot of scrapbooking and I kind of like watched her and did along with her and that's kind of where I think it grew from. And then when I was about 16 or 17, um, when I was about 16 or 17, I started making like a smash book kind of thing and it just kind of grew from there. Um, yeah, smash book went to traditional scrapbooking style. I think, I don't know, maybe like a year ago or less, probably less than that. Last summer I started doing like traditional scrapbooking. Um, so that specifically has been recent, but like memory keeping in general has been for, for a little bit of time. Um, number three, she asked, um, do I do mixed media on layouts? I love the look of mixed media on scrapbook layouts. I think it looks great, but I'm not very good at mixed media on scrapbook layouts. So I do try to do it and I do admire it. I love the look of it. Um, but I think in the future I want to try a little bit more. But right now I, I don't do too much. The most I do is like Heidi Swab Color Shine or my watercolors or something. Okay, so the next question is will you be doing more DIY videos? And the answer is yes. Um, if you've seen yesterday's video, obviously she asked this question way before I posted this video or decided any of this, but if you saw yesterday's video, I'm starting some new series in June, and so one of them um, will be DIY Wednesdays. So every Wednesday I post a video of some DIY stuff like tags, um, rosettes, I have all sorts of different things planned. I mean, tags and rosettes are the, the things that I've done most, but I'll be doing um, bigger variety. So you can look forward to that if you're interested. Um, yeah, so if you want to know the series that I'm doing, you can look at yesterday's video and find them there. Um, someone named Lynn asked what my favorite paper company or designer is. I love anything Maggie Holmes. I love everything that Maggie Holmes makes. Um, and I love anything crepe paper makes. Anything crepe paper, Maggie Holmes, love all that. Those are my favorite. Okay, so double click connect. I think that's, I think I wrote it down right. Um, was wondering if I was doing, I'm doing a craft tour anytime, craft room tour anytime soon. And the answer is yes, I will be doing a craft room tour. I don't have a date picked out yet of when I will post it, but I'm hoping to film it sometime in the next few months and put it up. It's kind of a longer video, bigger process to do that. So it takes a little bit more time, but I am hoping to post um, a room tour. Um, my, I mean, my room's not that cool, but 
um, it's kind of fun to see how people or different people organize and set things up and that's how I kind of was inspired for my craft room. Um, someone, I don't know if I'm saying this right, Pilbara Pink or something like that, she asked me how much time I spend on crafting. Um, sorry, the reason why I'm looking down is I have this here that has all my notes, so just in case you're wondering. Um, so how much time do I spend crafting? It all depends on the day or how the week's going. Usually on weekends, I spend a lot of time crafting. Saturday mornings, I'll spend a good chunk of time crafting, like three hours on a Saturday morning, I'll just go straight crafting. But that also includes editing videos. I do like three or four hours on Saturday morning of making, you know, whatever video, doing the craft and then also editing it. And then during the week, I just kind of do things here and there. So sometimes most days during the week, I'll spend less than an hour scrapbooking or crafting in general. But on weekends, I also get Fridays off. So temporarily so Friday through Sunday I probably spend like three hours a day crafting at least I try to so I, I mean maybe compared to other crafters I don't spend a lot of time on it also considering I take that time to edit videos too I consider that kind of all one but you know I think it's um, a lot of time to spend on it and of course I wish I could spend more time on it but I think it's a pretty I'm pretty satisfied with how much time I spend on my crafting and then my last question for this video is, um, what's the most unique mail tag you've ever gotten? Um, when I got this question, I was looking through my, my old mail and different things and trying to pick out, you know, different mail tag to see what's the most interesting or unique that I've ever gotten before and I couldn't really find anything specific or think of anything specific that has been unique that stood out to me but um, I've gotten things like silly things like what's your favorite pizza topping or I like the ones that are like this or that so like do you prefer cats or dogs Jennifer Aniston or Jennifer Garner um, ice cream or popsicles like stuff like that those are kind of fun um, and I also like the ones that are very like personal or meaningful so you know that they really care about you so asking me if they know that I like to travel ask me where I've traveled to um, or what's my favorite place I've traveled to um, or like where my husband and I met or um, what else um, when my birthday is I've gotten that asked by a few really awesome pen pals and actually I've gotten some birthday mail which is super super awesome um, I posted a video a couple days ago of one of them and then I just got another one today so I'm gonna be posting that video in the next couple weeks but um, yeah so the ones that are very personal meaningful and that you know they really do care about you those ones are really awesome too but anyway that kind of sums up part one of my questions and answers video um, and tomorrow I'll be back for part two so thanks for watching bye